In my time with you, I'd like to provide a brief into a framework for thinking about human functioning, which I call distributed intelligence. As I like to say, the mind rarely works alone. When we look at what humans do from children through adults, we see that human cognition aspires to efficiency in distributing intelligence across individuals, socially, the environment, tools and designed artifacts, and the inscriptions created with symbolic representations, whether it's text or maps or computer programs. People offload mental effort into the physical world, into tools both off and on computers, and into social arrangements which help them achieve their aims. What are some salient examples? They range from the mundane to the phenomenal. When I first wrote about this in 1988, I mentioned everyday cases like measuring tapes, speedometers, home thermostats, calculators, word processors, GPS navigation, false color up-to-date global weather data maps. These all sound quaint 32 years later. In 2020, automated speech recognition systems like Siri and Alexa provide AI-informed agents enabling complex activities from shopping, information search, music and video services, language translation. We take for granted web browsers to search the entire World Wide Web, which today contains over 5.62 billion pages. The view I was reacting against in conceptualizing distributed intelligence is the presumption ingrained in school and university testing regimes, and some would even say that it is common sense, obviously true, that intelligence is possessed as an attribute of the person acting. Yet once we closely inspect activity, we find intelligence to be an achievement that comes to life in human activities. The key conceptual shift required to understand the framework of distributed intelligence is coming to see intelligence as distributed and manifest during action. The key image I would like you to bring to mind is thinking of people in action, a surgeon in her operating room, a teacher in her classroom, a cook in their kitchen. Observing people in action, I say distributed intelligence is configured in their activity. Why we need the concept of distributed intelligence is both to celebrate the complexities in what people achieve every day in their daily rounds of activity, and also to inform how designers conceptualize the activity systems in which their artifacts will be put to human uses. People will appropriate design things and systems to the extent that they enable the realization of the distributed intelligence which they seek to achieve in their activities. Armed with the concept of distributed intelligence, we are more attuned to recognizing intelligence as a means and adaptation rather than a property of the mind of the person acting. So intelligence is not possessed, but instead achieved in activity. It is in this important sense that intelligence is distributed. Why does this matter? Because culturally valued designs for distributed intelligence in which the learner participates to achieve a specific goal will change throughout history. Here is where design needs to focus as we design for the actor in distributed intelligence situations. First, consider distributing intelligence in design. Through processes of design and invention, we load intelligence into both physical designed artifacts and representational objects, such as diagrams, models, and plans. We exploit intelligence from the objects when we use them instrumentally in activities. And once such intelligence is designed into the affordances properties of artifacts, it both guides and constrains the likely contributions of that artifact to distributed intelligence and activity. Now let's turn to education. Consider 
the implications here for designing education. A principal aim of education ought to be teaching for the design of distributed intelligence. Such an education would encourage and refine the natural tendency for people to continually recreate their world as a scaffold for their activities. We should strive towards a reflectively, intentionally distributed intelligence in education where learners are inventors of distributed intelligence as tool rather than receivers of intelligence as substance. Such learners will be far more ready not only to adapt to change, but to contribute substantially to it. 